Out of all of the types of stomach and intestinal issues that can occur with a puppy or dog, when a Pomeranian develops diarrhea, this can be troubling to say the least. This small toy breed dog is vulnerable to the quick dehydration that often occurs with this ailment, not to mention discomfort, weakness, and other elements. Owners would be wise to familiarize themselves with how to treat for this, since it can drain a palm of his energy and in worst case scenarios, can be quite dangerous. Since this can strike very quickly and catch owners off guard, certainly no one plans on this happening. We do suggest that all dog owners watch this video to be better prepared. Statistically, dogs experience at least three bouts of this type of intestinal distress in a lifetime. The difference between diarrhea and a wet bowel movement. When a Pomeranian is constipated or dehydrated, bowel movements may be dry. However, loose stools are not normal either. So, what is normal and how can you tell if there is a problem? First, it is highly recommended to take a peek at what your palm leaves behind after going to the bathroom. Some owners do this if they are using poop bags when walking at the park or in the neighborhood, but when a palm is using his designated bathroom area in the yard, this may not be done. Therefore, it is a good idea to have a quick look. You will be able to know if the consistency is normal and additionally be able to spot worms, as some types will be visible in the feces. Second, the definition of diarrhea is frequent or loose bowel movements. In this regard, the term loose can range from very wet stools that do not hold as shape to liquid diarrhea. When a Pomeranian has healthy bowel movements, they will occur two to three times per day. The consistency should be firm yet pliable, best described as dough-like. If you were to pick it up, it would stay in one piece, but you would be able to squish it. Third, when a Pomeranian puppy or older dog has diarrhea, he may have frequent bowel movements, meaning four, five or more per day. The other element will be that the feces will be too wet to theoretically pick up and have it hold its shape. And of course, in severe cases, it will be a brown liquid with or without food particles. It is not uncommon for diarrhea to contain mucus. This will often be substance normally found in the intestines to keep the colon lubricated, however it can be expelled with fecal matter quickly moves through the dog's body. Causes of diarrhea with the Pomeranian breed There are actually quite a few causes, so first let's look at the most common. The five most common reasons are food intolerance, ingestion of non-food substance, spoiled food or feces, ingestion of spoiled or bacteria-laden food, viral or bacterial intestinal infection and internal parasites including roundworms, giardia and cochidia. Other possible reasons include a quick change in diet, kidney disease, liver disease, bowel disease, cancer, colitis, stress-induced diarrhea, allergic reaction to food or medication or hemorrhagic gastroenteritis. Treating diarrhea, first assess your palm. Take an assessment of your palm's health. You will look for blood in the stools. Fresh, red blood may be due to rips in the anal tissue if a puppy or dog has been having many bouts of expulsion, however it can also be a sign of worms, hemorrhagic gastroenteritis and particularly for puppies under the age of one year it may be a sign of parvovirus. All of these possible causes are very serious and require medical treatment. Your palm's normal temperature is between 101 and 102.5 F, 38 degrees Celsius to 39.2 degrees Celsius. To know if your dog has a fever, you will need to take his temperature rectally using a canine rectal thermometer. Swipe it with rubbing alcohol, both before and after use, dab it with petroleum jelly, with your palm lying down gently move his tail to the side and gently insert it approximately 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters. Signs of dangerous dehydration or electrolyte imbalance include severe weakness, signs of dizziness, pale lips or gums, refusal or inability to drink water and vomiting are all signs that a Pomeranian is becoming or has already developed dehydration or an electrolyte imbalance which can be very dangerous for this toy breed. Diarrhea and vomiting together is a dangerous combination for any dog, but especially for a small toy breed such as the Pomeranian. In and of itself, this often causes rapid fluid loss and imbalances that can be fatal if not professionally treated. In addition, a combination of vomiting and diarrhea may be caused by ingestion of a poison, a severe allergic reaction or severe stage of worm infestation. Also, hemorrhagic gastroenteritis HGE, a very serious and sometimes fatal disease has two main symptoms, diarrhea and vomiting. This must be treated with IV fluids and antibiotics. 90% of dogs properly treated by a veterinarian will survive this. 
treatment after assessment. If you have assessed your palm, and he does not have bloody diarrhea, vomiting or a fever and shows no other troubling signs other than the diarrhea itself, you can often treat this at home for one to two days to see if it clears up before taking him to the vet. Please note that each puppy and dog is different and, red flag signs will vary and the above is not a complete list. If you are on the fence, it is best to play it safe and make an appointment. 1. Monitor your Pomeranian, since additional symptoms may manifest quickly. Also, a mild case of diarrhea can swiftly turn into a severe case. Therefore, keep a close eye on your dog. During this time, your puppy or dog should not be left home alone. Whether this means that someone in the household will need to take a personal day from work, a friend or family member will come to stay with your palm or other arrangements are made, it is important that a responsible person be present to take care of a dog until the diarrhea clears up or he is brought to the veterinarian for treatment. 2. A palm's bum may become very sore very quickly. When a dog has diarrhea, digestive enzymes are being expelled with the stools, which can burn the sensitive skin of the anus. The skin may then become inflamed, red and very sore. It will be important to keep the area clean and dry. After each expulsion of fecal matter, gently clean the anus with gentle canine body wipes. This is the only type of wipe that should be used, even soft washcloths with soap or shampoo can hurt during this time. Once the diarrhea has cleared up, you can dab the area with aloe vera. If you see cracks in the skin, Apply spread a thin swipe of antibacterial gel which will work to fight against possible skin infection. 3. You will want to confine your palm to one area during this time without isolating him, since it will be important to keep a close eye on your puppy. You'll find that most dogs simply want to rest, as diarrhea can zap the energy of the most active dog. Placing your palm in his designated gated area or indoor playpen can work well if you lay down pee pads, layered to create a barrier on top of the floor. Another option is to use a doggy diaper and take your puppy or dog outside every 30 minutes or so. You may want to forego normal house training at this time and simply carry your Pomeranian to the bathroom area since you will want him to conserve his energy. 4. Stop feeding your palm his regular food during this time. It is normal for puppies and dogs to have a decreased appetite when suffering though a bout of diarrhea and it is best refrain from giving any food for about 8 to 10 hours, which allows the intestines to rest. After this time, you will want to begin feeding a very bland diet. Plain white rice mixed with boiled, white breast chicken meat is easy on the digestive system. This should be fed for one to two days. If things clear up during the first two days, slowly ease back into regular meals. If you suspect that a food intolerance has caused this, your palm has had frequent diarrhea not due to other issues or if you have just changed brands when the problem began, you may wish to reevaluate what brand you are feeding your dog.